uh, hi everyone so in this video what we will learn is uh, we will create a sns and we will use a lambda function to trigger a message into that sns right so what we will do we will create a sns create a subscription for that sns and for demo purpose that uh, subscription will be an email subscription right and from our lambda function uh, of course that subscription will be will have uh, uh, message attributes like kind of filters so we will use the same filter to trigger the sns from our lambda function and the message will go to our uh, uh, email id right so this is the flow that uh, we will uh, see today so the first thing that we have to do is uh, of course create an sns so you have to come to this sns page right so you can search sns like this so you can come to this sns page right from here uh, what we will do is we have two options uh, first in first out uh, uh, topic and standard topic so we will go with standard topic right and we will give it a name uh, i'll give it a name yt sns demo right and any any uh, display name of your choice so i'll keep the same name sns demo right and what i will do is i will create a topic right once this topic is created what i will do is i will create a subscription so for this uh, demo what i will do is i will create an email subscription right so what this will do is uh, any if anything happens to this sns any message comes to this sns it will trigger an email right and what will be this email endpoint right so for this email endpoint i will say code with right so for this i will give one email address uh, make sure that this is a valid email address right because this will ask for a uh, confirmation right then what i can do is mm, okay so what we can do is we can create a filter policy right so there might be many messages that will come to this uh, sns but only few filter properties i want to send it to my email right so what i can do is it can be any key value pair so what i can do is i will say source just an example okay and any source that has s1 right s1 will come to this email address this uh, sns trigger will happen to this email address for this uh, filter pattern right so what i will do is i will create a subscription right subscription is created now i'll go back to topics right i'll come to uh, ytsns demo here if you see we have created one subscription but the state is uh, pending right so what has happened is it has sent a confirmation to my email address right so if you see this is the topic name that i selected right here if i click on this this will do confirm right once confirmation is done i will come back here uh, i can try a refresh so it should pick up that uh, this is uh, confirmed right so now it says confirmed right if i go inside this this is the uh, subscription filter right so i'll come back mm, okay so sns part is done now what i will do is i will come to my uh, lambda function so what i have done is i have created a lambda function right uh, and uh, nothing is there just the you know uh, out of the box template that is given by aws the first thing that we need to do is uh, work on the permission right so permission this is the default permission that uh, aws creates so what we have to do is in this permission currently it has only uh, cloudwatch uh, permission what we have to do is attach sns permission right so if you see this one um, if you see this json right so all it has is uh, cloudwatch create log groups right now what we will do is we'll attach a policy we will search for sns right amazon sns full access right so we will attach this policy right then we will come here we will come to our code and we will start writing some code 
so that we can trigger a message to our sns and from that sns it will come to our email address right so i'll close this one and i'll close this tab and i'll come here to my home page uh, the main uh, email page right now what i will do is i will start by uh, importing aws sdk so what i can do is const aws equals to uh, require right and aws sdk right i will not touch this function now what i will do is i will create a helper function so what this helper function will do is this is this helper function will actually do the publish so what i can do is i will name this as const right publish to sns right equals to of course this will be an async function and this guy will take one message right what message you want to trigger right and we will have the function body right so first thing that we need to do is create a sns object so const sns equals to new aws dot sns right then we will create the parameter object so i will say const params equals to right so the first property that will go is the message right message message will be we will send it as a string so json dot stringify of what we will do message right the parameter message that we have received next thing is topic arn right so what is this topic arn so if you come to your sns right this is the sns and this is its arn and i will do is i will copy this one right and i will paste it here right so to this topic this message will be published right then what i can do is i can give a subject right subject will be we will give a simple sns test from from lambda right then what we can do is message attribute right here message attribute will be whatever uh, message we have sent here right this source that we will be using so what we can do is we will say source right and what we can do is make uh, an object out of this and what will be the first parameter right first parameter is data type which is string right and then string value string value will be s1 right s1 why s1 because if you see this source is s1 as a string so uh, this source we are saying s1 as string right so this is the parameter object right then what we can do is we will create a new promise so return new promise right what this promise will do is will it will take a function right and this function what this will do this will take two parameters called resolve and reject so if everything goes proper we will call the method resolve if exception happens what we will do is we will reject it right so what i can do is i can bring this sns object inside this uh, promise right then what i can do is sns dot publish right i will publish with this params object and a callback function right so this is the callback function this callback function will have two objects one is error one is data so error object will be empty and data will have the value if everything goes right 
if some exception happens then your data will be null and your error uh, uh, parameter will have some value right so what i can do is i can check if if uh, error right what i can do is i can reject reject with the error right and if i get the if i get to this else part that means there is no error right what i can do is resolve and i will pass this in data right so this much only i have to do right and i will put a semicolon here right so this part is done now what we can do is we'll start writing our main handler right so i'll remove all of this because not required i will add a try catch block right so on the catch block what i can do is i can do a console dot error right whatever is our error object so this error object will come from our uh, reject method so whatever we passed to this reject right that will come inside this uh, uh, try catch this catch block right and inside this try block what i can do is i can say const result equals to await right await because we have created this as an async function await right and await what we will await to publish to sns right publish to sns right and what i can say is this is a test message right now i will deploy and mm, we will see what happens so we'll configure a test event right mm, test because anyways we are not going to use these uh, parameters so all we'll do is create then we will run the test hmm. so now if you see this one ytsns demo one message has come this is a test message right so what i can do is i can add another message this is a test message second time and this time what i can do is just do a console.log of result i missed that in the first one so we will see what is the result object right so we will say deploy right and i will come back to my main page right then what i will do is i'll click on test right so i get some info so this is the response metadata and this is the message id this is the input that uh, result that i get from the sns publish method right and we will wait for some time so that we will hmm. so we get this message right so uh, this one uh, it has come as a reply so second time right we get this message so this is how you create a uh, function lambda function that sends message to your sns and from that sns uh, you have to add your filter parameter so that based on different filter parameters you know different uh, uh, subscriptions source can be created and from there uh, you can uh, send the message to different source so if you see create subscription we have more options like you know we can send it to sqs we can again send it to another lambda function right we can send it as a http request right we can send it as an sms so we have quite a option to create uh, we have quite a lot of options to uh, create this subscription so i have demoed it with uh, email so you trigger a message and ultimately an email will come to you so that is the uh, workflow